Gene and Carter Towing. I am Christopher Carter and we are back here with my COE and this is the one I did a review on already along with the F550 for uh, Gene Struck that he got where I RP that I took one of the stoner vans with the characters Mickey and Dickie preferably Dickie because it was his van and giving it back to him but in this episode um, I may try to do a tow um, and what not um, I don't know how this is really going to work because you know the chain it's not really the best for servers and preferably it's better to use the flatbed but um, it may do better there's not too many people on I don't know but yeah this is uh, the new truck basically in delivery this is the Gina Carter which let's quit smoking my cigarette we'll go in the first person but first let me take off my um, yeah my glasses that way you don't get the effect. There we go. Boom. Now it's kind of a. Uh, it's kind of blurred out, but I mean you see one of the numbers. But I know my buddy's got to fix the middle part, and he's got to fix the bottom part. You cannot see any of that, basically on the truck, which basically sucks. Um, that needs to be fixed. Um, that way you can see my number and his number clearly and better. Um, I would say if I was designing this, I would take the white that's on the bottom and top around like the edges and whatnot that make like the outline design of like the logo and stuff for the truck and the numbers are and whatnot. I would put that in the middle. I don't. I'd put it. I'd put it underneath, or I'd put black underneath and then make the letters white. And put black in the middle and make the letters blink. That's what I would do if I was designing the logo. Christopher Carter designed the logo. I'm pretty sure I could go design one, but I mean, that's what he did. So if he asked me to, I most likely would. Um, this is the inside of the cab. Basically, everything's purple inside. It used to be red. And I wish we could change the texture of the seat color. I would make it all black, even the steering wheel. But. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, in the back, you still got the warning label that's uh, the white and red. I wish that could be changed, to be honest with you. And just be straight purple back there and didn't have any of that. Um, then again, it could be an extra. I'm going to check my extras here in a minute before we take off and get on with this video. But this is the other side of the truck. Only thing that I don't like about this truck, which it's hard to see down on the floor. But you could kind of see it is the visor is not purple. The visor is still got the red on there. I mean, in the, in the light that we're in right now, it's hard for you to see the actual color of it. But yeah, it's red. Now, I am going to do a little testing and see if I could change that. So let's go here. Cool. I kind of did change it. So let's go to... Okay, let's get the midnight purple. What number was that? That was number 71. So we're gonna go. Se oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, I can change it. 71. There we go. I mean, uh, can I make it black? Will black look better? Let's go to straight black. What does black look like? I think black is gonna do. I don't know why that just not straight purple like the truck. Um, okay, I was able to fix it, and then we'll do the outline black. Um, we'll do the interior. We'll do a bright purple. 
We'll do another bright purple. Oh, and I could change the color of the rims. Before I couldn't do that. At least I don't remember. Um, let's go. Oh, yeah, 73. Get that bright purple on there. Alright, now let's see if these vehicle extras do anything. So, let me uh, take the ones I got check marked and check mark them on. Keeping that check marked. I don't know what that changed. I think this is. Oh, yeah, this is for the lights. Because if I take it off, see, the lights are gone. So, this is for the lights. And that's letting you know there's a truck coming. Uh, so, yeah, I can't take that off. But other than that, we're going to go here. This is the COE. Yeah, this one right here. There we go. She's in, but ladies and gentlemen. She saved. And this is the Gene and Carter livery that we have for our company. Um, but basically, it needs to be redone and better. So, we are going to, out of RP, go over and pick up this truck over here. The manager had told me to get rid of it off his property it's not in a parking spot the parking spots are back there there's no parking spots over here just because you basically don't want to be parked there well or just because you want to park there you can't park there and we'll take this to flywheels uh, i think this is going to be one of those ones i can't pick up so the only thing that sucks about the CEO. Oh wait, I think it was this car that wanted me to pick up. Because he's not getting gas. Yeah, I think this was the car I was supposed to pick up. Since I can't pick that one up. We'll RP that we gotta do this one. Yeah, there we go. Boom. We'll lift her on up. Turn our lights on. And let's get on with it so we're gonna take this truck back to flywheels which is our basically new location um, I have some RP ideals with uh, Jimmy Long and that place is probably gonna burn down in the future due to some story RP that's gonna be taking place with Gene Davis and none other than Jimmy Long in the future, although it will not take place in Indiana, because we don't want Gene to be a felon here in Indiana, although, coincidence, Wisconsin, Jimmy is not a felon, but in Indiana, he's a felon, and in Indiana, Gene is not a felon, but Wisconsin, he's a felon, which is hilarious, but yeah. As I say, that's in the future plans, though. But, yeah, so far, so good. This truck is uh, towing. Um, as I say, it's not the fastest thing out here in GTA that we have for our trucks here for Gene and Carter towing. Tow and repo, you know. But, it is a truck and it does work. It does its job. Now, I know there's some other trucks in there where the trucks just drop the cars instantly. Mine hasn't done that, but maybe a few times. Um, other than that, usually when I drive it, now, the only person that has access to this truck is me and my brother and the guy who did delivery for this, L Waters. Now, in the future, if you're watching this, L Waters, you ever decide that you're going to leave Gina Carter towing, or you're just... You get fired or for some reason or something. Or whatever happens. But just say you decide to leave for some reason. You're just tired of towing. You will be no longer to be able to drive any of my personal trucks that I gave you. Which so far you only have the COE. Um, so if you decide to leave in the future. And you're caught driving it. Then there will be a problem there. But that's in the future. 
This, it's a truck I gave you. You did delivery for it. I appreciate it. And look, Levi got it here in the server. And this thing is amazing. I just wish there was a few things that were changed on it, like uh, the red and white in the back. Um, I wish that was all either the straight purple or black. Another thing I wish that was kind of a little different, the wheel wells. Um, the, the arches that go over the wheels, I wish those were black. Because our company is basically purple and black. Although our main color is purple. But yeah. Other than that, I am still digging this truck. It is cool. It's purple. It matches the tow truck company. It's got the exact logo on there. I know, uh... I saw some images and whatnot of, uh... Gene's truck. His truck was done. It has the logos on there. As I say, the logo that we have and the logos on the truck, both sides, even on Gene's truck, the actual design needs to be changed itself. I see the issues now that I get to witness driving the truck first person, hands on. So I'm now noticing all of the issues with the logo. Other than that, I mean, I wouldn't say the red and white's an issue, but I just rather not have it there if you know what I'm saying but yeah other than that I'm still loving this truck um, let me get um, some recording going on you know of me telling this truck here in the Indiana State role play server Jeez Louise, you see my lights on, dude. And if anyone's asking, I am holding the gas pedal all the way down. This car is not the fastest, as I say. It takes a little bit of speed, but to be honest with you, I don't mind that whatsoever because then I know if I'm ever driving this, I'm not going to get a speeding ticket. Now, I can't wait to see what my F. 450 is going to be in the future and then I also have my eyes on two other tow trucks that I want for the company which will basically give me five personals one being none other than uh, jeans personal but then I'll have my COE I'll have my 450 and then I have my eyes on some I believe it's made by Mercedes I'm not 100% sure I know it begins with the M it's a flatbed but then I have another flatbed I found and that flatbed is basically going to be a flatbed that when Gene sees it and anyone else sees it in the server, they're probably going to be like, oh wow, holy cow. But we got some Rockstar clips recording here. Maybe I'll try to put like a, a video together or something if I could try to figure out how to use Rockstar Editor correctly and it doesn't crash on me. Um, maybe I'm going to try to load it up in the actual regular. GTA and load up Rockstar Editor. I don't know, it just crashes to me when I play it with, uh, you know, 5M. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we made it here to Flywheels. Ba boom, bada bing. We're gonna park this car right here. I love every time when you show up. You hear the register break inside. Because technically this is a flywheels that... It should not be uh, broken inside, but it is broken inside, so... Let's start the recording. Let me make sure this is my personal. So I can lock in. Boom. There we go. She is now locked. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Gene and Carter towing. Oh, well, Gene and Carter tow and repo, I should say. And this is the truck. This is the new livery that L. Waters did to it and Levi put in the server. As I say, the only thing that we need to change is the logo. You can barely see the bottom in the middle. Other than that, 
Truck looks beautiful. Truck looks really beautiful. And then, if that could be changed and fixed in the future, sweet. If not, it is what it is. But other than that, yeah, this is the COE. It finally got changed in Indiana State Roleplay. I am really excited about this and whatnot. And yeah, um, this is pretty cool. So yeah. Hey look, there's a cop there. Mickey! What's going on, man? What you doing? I'm just, uh, well, I'm driving my tow truck that's got the new livery on it. Hi. You get the new livery added? Yeah, it just got added. Uh, this is a logo Carter made, but uh, someone named L. Waters made this for us, and then Levi put it in, but I know Carter's got to change the middle of that logo on the bottom because you can't see anything. L. Waters? Oh, Waters made it for you? Oh, yeah. He said he could, he said he could make them. He said he just needed the the links to the trucks and whatnot, so that way he could do it. I gave him the links, and well, here we go. Nice. What did it cost to get it put in? Nothing. I mean, I already paid like thirty five dollars. I got a a Ford F four fifty. It's a four door flatbed that I got it's, for a personal. It's but, a F five fifty. No, 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 no. I got a F four fifty. It's not in the server yet. It's literally one I found and sent them a link to get. Uh, and then well, I, I have Danny's F550. Yeah, yeah, I got the 550 too, but no, it's literally a four-door. It's a 450, and I was like, oh, Danny's got the 550. I'll have the 450. So then I got that, but then I sent Levi the pictures that L. Water sent me of the truck, and he said, I got you, and he just put it in. Nice. Well, I got to finish my little ride-along. All righty. Yeah, he he he's trying to be a big boy like me. So he's gonna... <laughs> right, don't do he's a little gonna... shit, or I will arrest you. I'm a tow truck driver. I'm a clean guy. Anyone who knows me knows that I'll arrest a motherfucker for anything. Yeah, I hey, bet. I think he, I think he's reaching. No, I'm not <laughs> reaching. Oh, I yeah. Thought he was, I thought he, I thought it was him that said it. Fucking rookie. No, yeah, I think I think he was trying reaching. to reach for your gun. He's he's jealous that you got a better gun than him. Are you reaching? He's reaching. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna last for like ever. <laughs> yes it is, Cindy. Oh god. Hey, don't worry, Mickey and Dick, you felt that plenty of times. Yeah, did you? Yep. <laughs> Alright, have a good one out there. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Quit rubbing your eyes. Yeah, you're rubbing your eyes. That's why you can't get in. Quit rubbing them. It doesn't sting that bad. <laughs> you can't get in. <laughs> Alrighty, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Some funny action at the end. By, uh, you know who that was. <laughs> Ricky Jones. <laughs> All right, goddamn it, Ricky now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new tow truck. The logo needs to be changed. If the back could be changed a little, cool. Um, but other than that, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I can't wait to see what new of the liveries and logos and whatnot, especially when this gets changed, what it looks like and what we could do to make this company better and the future MLO in the future but for now we got some places to RP out of but yeah other than that as I say don't forget to like comment share subscribe and I will see you all next time later